Dr. Bonnie Rose earned a master's in environmental studies and a doctorate in sociology from York University. Yet the Indiana University School of Music scholar and accomplished saxophone player composed her most virtuosic symphony of work at Niagara University. So I think she really did help academics. Uh, I mean, in that period of time, we were really trying to bring new professors into the university and build a very strong academic core to the university. Uh, she certainly was at the heart of that. Bonnie led us at a point where we could go out and get the best qualified faculty from extremely high uh, reputation universities, the best doctoral programs, who were outstanding teachers, and really very, very strong scholars as well. I'd say probably half the faculty that currently is at NU was hired or tenured during her time period here. So that's a kind of legacy of excellence and making the place better that I think we can attribute to Bonnie's leadership. Uh, Bonnie's a, a visionary. She, she anticipates things of the future, and she knows that the two Niagara's, uh, Niagara, Ontario, and Niagara, New York, uh, need to work together in this bi-national region that we talk about. And so with her work and others, we were able to establish a bi-national scholarship that sees uh, American and Canadian students exchanging and, and studying, uh, and it really is a model um, for uh, other educational institutions that are trying to support uh, binational uh, partnerships. Bonnie saw an opportunity to transform the campus and as part of the negotiations to end up with new facilities, new sports facilities, a new soccer field, uh, running paths and we have an entire new entranceway into the university through the power authority on their property financed in large part by the Power Authority, but designed by Bonnie and the other people on the committee. Before coming to Niagara, Bonnie was a consultant for federal and provincial programs working with community groups to implement social change. That work, combined with her strong commitment to the regional community and a vision for binational institutions, made her a perfect fit for Niagara's Vincentian mission. And she truly has a Vincentian heart. And, you know, to be concrete about that, what does that really look like? In, in the concrete, it looks like humility. It looks like simplicity. It looks like meekness and zeal and charity. It looks like mortification. And those are the Vincentian virtues that this university is founded upon. She has every one of those. At the core of community impact is an anchor institution with a strong mission. Bonnie intuitively knew that and brought that to the table. So as she established these relationships in the community, she did it with the, the desire to have impact, collective impact, with the university as that anchor. Because we've come to expect that the university would be able to leverage change and transformation. And, and that's the vision that she saw. Um, and there were many projects, if you look around the community and you look at this large footprint of Niagara University in this region, it is because of that vision of bringing Niagara University and its ability to leverage change to all kinds of venues and situations that we have at hand. If you speak with Bonnie Rose, you know that her community work was carried out in an effort to make the world a better place for the future. And at Niagara, that future is represented in its students. Uh, she once shared with me that uh, if she could pick where her office could be on campus, if she could design her office, she would place it in the Gallagher Center, uh, right in the hub of all the activity with glass walls, so that she could just look out at all the activity because it really inspired her. She loved to be able to be close to the students. If there was any opportunity for her to be at an event where the students were and they were inviting people, to, she always went, as far as I knew. And then the next morning I would hear, oh, I had a wonderful session last evening with these students and those students. And uh, she got very excited about narrating it to me what happened there. You know, one of the, uh, uh, our staff on the basketball team, Tyrone Lewis, the coaching staff um, told a story that when the team went to the NSA tournament that uh, Bonnie had traveled with them and she got right on the bus with them uh, and uh, got right in the seat and took a sandwich and watched the movie and did her work and I reached over to her and I said hello how you doing uh, I'm Tyrone and you are and she's like oh, I'm Bonnie Rose I'm like okay and she's like, I'm the vice president of uh, Niagara University and I you know it kind of took us back because this was like 
from Father Lavette to the next person in charge. So we were kind of excited and then also we were like, let's be careful now about, but she was just so cool. In her 13 years at Niagara University, whether working as the Vice President for Academic Affairs or as Executive Vice President, one of the hallmarks of Bonnie's work was her tireless dedication to working collaboratively across campus. Collaboration has to be in our DNA and that's really in her DNA. Um, rarely is she just advancing her own agenda. Uh, it's really something that uh, she's talked to people, she's listened, um, and, and you know, in, at the end of the day, um, you know, you can get quick results, but you want sustainable results and you want a culture of collaboration. And I think that's really who Bonnie is and how she leads. She really was an outstanding leader in terms of giving everyone a voice, letting people have their say, and then making a decision. I think that's an important part of a higher education community and certainly is our Vincentian community. Her style of leadership was one of collaboration, uh, bringing all the people around the table from various sectors, but also from the community. She developed a very strong reputation of the university in the community as a way of really building on both sides of the campus, both sides of the border. So collaboration to her may have been international. It may have been university in the community. On campus, it meant all of the people that had a part in that initiative. During her time at Monteagle Ridge, Bonnie's investment in time and energy to the university has been highly regarded. Behind this dedication to the university is the unwavering support and counsel from her loving husband, Walter. Everywhere Bonnie was, socially, uh, and obviously every time she went home, I'm sure she narrated a few things uh, to Walter, and I think he supported her, he understood her, he comforted her when she may have needed that, uh, and I think she gave him, uh, he gave her great strength. They make each other better. Uh, and, um, you know, I think they both would say that um, they're better people, uh, they're more effective in what they do, uh, because they have each other. And isn't that, you know, a, a wonderful, wonderful tribute and an attribute uh, being in a committed relationship. For a career dedicated to fostering active and integrative learning and a collaborative organizational culture and campus community, Niagara University is pleased to present Dr. Bonnie Rose with the Medal of Honor.